just got us some dinner. Ah, seafood. Great change of pace, Pace. Was that a note of disgust I detected at our sustenance of the ocean born? After this trip, if I never eat another thing that breathes through gills again, it'll be too soon. No. I don't believe you, Pacey Litter. I mean, as truant as your natural instinct may be, you'd never really suggest a skipping our senior year entirely. Just what would we be missing from the land of poorly scripted melodramas, huh? Recycle plot lines, tiresome self-realizations. You throw in the occasional downward spiral of a dear friend and maybe a baby here and a death there, and all you've really got is a recipe for some soul-sucking, mind-numbing ennui. And I, for one, could skip it. You know what continually amazes me, Pace? What's that? How long you've lasted without being thrown off this boat? Well, finally. That's something we can both agree upon. Well, this is it. Less of our summer. I go left, you go right, and we spend the next full 24 hours away from each other. If you're curious as to why I'm not currently awash in sadness, it's only because, to be perfectly honest, you are starting to get on my nerves, Joe. Good. Well, because, you know, I, I'd hate to think that after all of our intimate talks, you were actually covering up your aching heart with false bravado. Well, put your mind at ease. I don't know what, I guess I'll, I'll call you tomorrow, maybe? Yeah, if you think about it. Sure. Okay. Good luck out there. Thanks. Sounds romantic. Well, you're far too cynical for my romantic overtures. Doesn't mean you don't earn points for trying. Oh, come on. You love me. You bug me. Glitter! <laughs> you, you couldn't resist the party. I see you brought the Prim Reaper. We came for your immortal soul. That is if you have one. Actually, I'd just like a drink. This one's for you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. It is a proven fact that you, madam, cannot hold your alcohol. So let me get this straight. You can drink at parties and I can't. Yes, because as you so rightly pointed out, I am a guy. And if I'm going to get in trouble for being a guy, I think I should at least get to act like one every once in a while. You know, with your advanced permission and approval, of course, I wouldn't, you know, just do it without asking at first. That's fine. That's fine? Yeah. We'll both be guys tonight. Cheers. Hey, how about you, Witter? You know, for a little game of cards, or uh, you need to ask permission for the old ball and chain? <laughs> I'd be happy to just find the old ball and chain right now. I, uh, I don't think I saw her talking to Dawson. Oh, no way. That's wrong. She took a walk. Birthday girl, which is why you should stay here and play cards with us. So what do you say? Five card draw, you in or out? Well, it's your money. I love this girl. It's like she's trying to lose. Hey, strip poker. I leave you alone for two seconds and you end up playing strip poker? Originally, this was just poker poker. Until I start kicking his ass and your friendly neighborhood co-worker decides to change the stakes on me. But, I'm finished now. And, uh, we can just leave. Why leave? There's a half-naked chick in the room. It's just a game. Up until now, nobody's taken off anything other than socks. So it's just all good, clean fun? Yeah, exactly. Just good, clean, American guy fun. Deal me in. Excuse me? You heard me. Now, what does the girl have to take off in order to play this game? Okay, that's enough. It's time for us to leave now, because you see, you're drunk, you're bordering on disorderly, and you are definitely insane. Get up this call. Show? Finished? Stand up, let's go. You want me to stand up? Yes, I'd like for you to stand up now. And why would I do that? Because you are forcing me to make the ultimate guy maneuver. I can't walk, Pacey. 
Before I have to drag you kicking and screaming, but now you want to be carried? No. It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Ah, but tonight you're one of the guys, remember? And guys walk. Come on, number four. Out you get. Watch your head. And I would hate to think that I fell in love with a moron. So you're in love with me, huh? Well, not currently, no. Right now you're just some crazy drunk girl I gotta get in that door without waking up all the paying customers at her sister's B&B. But generally speaking, yes. May I kiss you right now? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> But I'm still not carrying you. Nope. You can give me the eyes, it's just not gonna work. Oh, come on, honestly. You don't think we're broken? Oh, wow, I thought I already just fell off the turn truck. You don't even fall for this? Joe. Halfway, that's it, I swear. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not kidding, my back's killing me here. Ugh. Well, I guess. Since you're up. Yes, Pacey, we have to. Well, have you thought about hiring an escort? Because from what I'm told, you can't take me anywhere. I called around, but they're all out of socially presentable man me. Well, what if I just broke up with you? Huh? I mean, what would you do then? Look, do what you have to do. You're still coming with me. Fascist. Scary cat. What is, however, is the building itself. It's really the most amazing feat of construction. It's an extraordinary combination of intersecting shapes. It's an architectural epiphany. Nah, I don't know. You ask me, the thing just looks like a big artichoke. No, I'm serious, it does. Oh, so you've been? Well, no, but my brother is this big architecture buff and he's into those uh, coffee table art books, you know? So I've seen all the pictures and I'm here to tell you, it looks like a big artichoke. <laughs> big artichoke. <laughs> You're right, it does look like an artichoke. <laughs>